I love learning about science, it's so awesome. Welcome back to Kids After Hour Science. I'm John Henry. I love learning all sorts of new stuff, and today we're gonna learn something new using flowers. <sighs> you can follow along with this experiment at home or at your center. Here's what you're gonna need. White flowers, th these are just white carnations I got at the grocery store. And we're gonna have a cup of water, and then, most importantly, we're gonna have some different colored water. And so what I did for this different colored water, I just took food coloring and I put it into water. I've got red, blue, and green. So I've got two reds, two blues, two greens. We're gonna see what happens here. We're gonna take our white flowers and we're gonna put them into the colored water. What do you think is gonna happen when we put the white flowers into the colorful liquid? You know, flowers, of course, are growing out of a plant and, and they have to bring water. Where do they get their water from? From the earth that they're living in. And it goes all the way up the stem to make sure that the flower has all the water that it needs. So now that you know a little bit more about flowers, do you have any different guess on what might happen? when we put the flowers in colorful water? There's only one way to find out. Let's do it. Go ahead and take your flowers, and put them into the water that has the different colors. All you gotta do is just make sure that they're, they're the right size for your container there. Perfect. Make sure you leave some flowers in the regular water with no colors so that you can see a difference. This takes a while, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put these flowers back on my shelf. We're gonna wait, and it might take a few minutes. It might take a few hours. It might take a few days. What do you think? How long do you think it's gonna take for us to see a difference in the flowers after they've been put in the colorful water? Hmm. Pause this video and talk to somebody next to you to tell them what your idea is. When we're back, we're gonna see if anything has changed with our flowers. And we're back. We're gonna take a look at these flowers and see if anything has changed. Just to remind you what they looked like before, these flowers were pure white, but then we added them to some food coloring. Let's take a look at what changed. I think you can already see a difference here. Look at this beautiful red flower with all of these red lines through there. Did you get red lines through the veins on the petals like mine did? Isn't that so interesting? You can see each little vein, that's where the water travels through the flower. Let's take a look at the blue one. It appears that the dark blue spots are because there was a cut in the flower and it probably let even more water escape out of there. Wow. This way we can see that the water really did travel from the bottom to the top. Remember, all you have to do to try this yourself is get some white flowers and, and then add some food coloring to different containers of water. I hope you enjoyed learning about science. Join me, John Henry, with Kids After Hours Science to learn more about this awesome world we live in. 